It was a sunny morning at Silver Hatch Racetrack, but in the garage, Big Chris wasn't feeling very well. <laughs> oh, there's your new fuel pump engine, Rory. Oh. Go careful with it for a day or two, though, just till we know it's working properly. OK, Big Chris. Uh, just! Oh, dear. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'll come down with a cold, Rory. I've got a cold. Oh, I feel rotten. I'm aching from head to toe. I feel like I've been run over by uh, steam. Big Chris, I need you to fix the barrier on Croke Corner right away, please. Oh, come on, my son. I've got a cold. I always work oh, when I've got oh, a cold. Dear. You can work with this one whenever you want. I'll get out there as soon as it's humanly possible. OK, Maxie, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. That doesn't uh, sound good. Are you all right, the big Chrissy? No, I feel proper poorly. Oh, dear. <sighs> You're very hot. Maybe we'd better get you home, eh? All right. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Oh, poor you, big Chris. Oh, thanks, Marshall. Is Big Chris all right, Marsha? He has a temperature, but he'll be OK. He just needs some rest. Big Chris always looks after us when we're not feeling well. We should do the same for him. Yes! yes. Good idea, Rory. I'll get him a tin of oil. That always makes me feel better. Big Chris can't drink oil, Maxie. People with colds feel better if they have hot drinks like honey and oh. lemon and ginger. I'll go and see Farmer Green. He'll have some honey, lemon and ginger. <laughs> Fuel pump. Big Chris said I needed to be careful. <laughs> oh, oh, that's lovely. What is it? That was Rory's honey, lemon, and ginger drink. What? Oh, and you've got your nice basket of fruit from CC. Just keep your voice low, will you, please, Mashes? Bit much that. Oh, you know what, Marsh? I can't see. And a see DVD covers. player from Drifter. A DVD player. Oh, that's nice of him. Oh, I won't be able and to a watch can of then, oil no. from Maxi. <laughs> oil. Oh, what do I want oil for? <sighs> anyway, just do me a favour, Marsh. Just thank everybody for being so kind. I think I'm just going to go to sleep now. Good I'm idea. So tired. No, no, Big Chris. Wakey, wakey! Rise and shine! Uh, how's Big Chris this morning, Marsha? He was asleep when I called earlier. But don't worry, I'll pop round and see him later. Right, you lot. Time for your practice lap. Yeah! How are you feeling, Big day. Chris? Oh, I feel good as new, thanks, Rusty. I slept like a baby. Probably because everyone looked after <sighs> you yesterday. I know, it was magic. I've never had anyone make so much fuss over me. Pity you were ill. Hey. You could have enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, 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 wait a minute. Maybe I could enjoy it. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have one more day being looked after, would it? But you're better, Big Chris. I don't know. I do. I do. Don't say a word. Ho, ho, ho. Where's my walkie-talkie, quick? Marsha, love, are you there? Is there any chance of some brekkie? The cars are in the middle of the practice race and I'm trying to tidy up. Oh, OK. Don't worry, love. I'm sure I'll survive. Maybe. Oh, all right, Big Chris. What would you like? Two boiled eggs, one egg runny, one hard, brown toast with a thin scraping of butter, just to just show it to the toast. Crusts cut off, but stacked to the side, because I want to use them as soldiers. Thanks, love. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be a great day. Let's try and beat our fastest times. Yeah! Oh. You all right, Rory? Yeah. It's just my new fuel pump. Don't worry. Go and beat your time, Maxie. OK, Rory. Oh, look at that. That looks smashing. 
I mean, I hope I can manage it all. Hmm. I've got to get back to time the cars. Okay. I'll see you in a bit, Flower. Should go. Oh, come to Daddy. Oh. I forgot the ketchup. I can't eat this without any tomato sauce. It's like eating it raw. Goodness, Maxie might beat his best time. Come on, Maxie. Marshall, love, come quick. I've got an emergency. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Maxie. Come in, Big Chris. Marsha, did I beat my record, Marsha? Hmm? Marsha? Oh, what is it? What is it? Are, are you okay? Ketchup. You didn't bring any ketchup. Ketchup? With you in bed? I've got a very busy day today. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry, Marsha. Love it. <laughs> but if you could just get a, a bit of sauce. <gasps> just a little bit. Could you just shift to the left? I can't see the <laughs> tail. Thanks for helping, Rory. That's OK, Marsha. <sighs> Honestly, what with looking after Marcia. Big Chris, I've hardly got any of my chores done. Come quick. Oh, quick. Not again. I'll go and see what he wants. Thank you, Rory. <laughs> Marsha. Marsha, are you coming, love? Are you coming or what? Isn't Rory there? He set out to see you a little while ago. Well, if he was here, I wouldn't be asking for you, would I? Think about it. That's not like Rory. Definitely not here. I'd better go and look for him. I wonder where he is. Oh, no. I bet his fuel pump's broken. I was supposed to check that this morning. Oh, no. What have I done? <sighs> Oh. Rory! Oh, Rory! Rory, are you all right? It's that fuel pump. Have you been racing around? I told you to go oh, steady, didn't I? I was coming to help you, Big Chris. Yes, we thought you were still ill. I can... I can explain. I... Oh, I can't explain. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for all this to happen. I, I just loved being looked after yesterday. It was brilliant, uh, and I, I'm sorry. It's OK, I'm really, Chris. I'm really, really sorry. You silly sausage. You we sure forgive are. you. I want you to know that I've learnt my lesson. I'll never do it again. In Ooh. fact, I'm going to make it up to you. <gasps> I promise. Prawn avocado salad with olive oil, vinaigrette dressing, walnut bread, and a banana and passion fruit smoothie. What else can I do for you, madame? Can you move my deck chair round to the sun, please? Yes. No problem. I'm beginning to regret this. So Big Chris <laughs> made Rory as good as new and made sure that Marsha didn't have to do anything the rest of the day. But most importantly, he learned that tricking your friends is never a good thing to do.